Making a D&D &D video game? Part 2. Last time we added move and attack, which are the only two things fighters ever get to do, so yeah, we're pretty close to done. Today, we'll be adding the only thing that D&D gets right, the advantage system. So I programmed in the advantage system, look, it's right here. See this, th 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 this attack you, you just saw, it, it definitely has advantage, you're just, you're just gonna have to believe me that the code works. So the whole point of a dice based system is that the player can actually see what they roll unlike those typical invisible percentages that you see in a lot of games like uh i just rolled a 10 except this is a d12 see i fooled you this is what happens when you don't properly convey information to your players so now that we have the disadvantage and advantage system why don't we actually give it another gameplay mechanic to plug into Two birds and one stone and all that. So I figured, hey, we already have a ranged attack, why not add effective range? For anyone who can't recite the 5e rulebook offhand, ranged attacks have two numbers for their total distance. This dagger can be thrown at someone 20 feet away. You're good. Throw it at someone 21 to 60 feet? Disadvantage. Simple as that. Beyond 60 feet, you're not hitting them, chief. So I did just that. We got this nice little range indicator on Green Stickman's dagger to uh, show you how far he can throw before his attack reaches ineffective range. Of course, it's a little off since the dagger's hitbox extends beyond the preview point. But that's a good thing because it means sometimes the player will get a normal attack when they expect a disadvantage, causing them to get more dopamine because they feel like they've gained the system, even though it was intentional. So yeah, effective range, advantage, cool. Two more basic things, but very essential things added to the game. Let's add a melee enemy. Here's the wasp and uh, ooh, he's not looking too good. Uh, hopefully we can get local Twitter artist Vin Blair uh, to do a better job of drawing a wasp potentially. Wasps are brutal, so I decided to make him always target the player with the lowest current HP, and that's not percentage based, so he'll always swarm your squishiest party member. Brutal, but predictable. I want that to be a central theme with the enemies in this game, simple behaviors that the players can pick up on and strategize around. Also Red Stickman, what's this guy supposed to be? Let's fix him up. Boom! Orange Bandit. That's going to be another theme of this game, is that we're going to have all the classics from meme history fill out the roster of enemies, merchants, bosses, players, allies, etc. I have a lot of ideas that I sketched out like <laughs> three fucking years ago, holy shit. Speaking of meme characters as characters in the game, let's add Wojak. I also have some digital assets just lying around. I'll probably remake them, but honestly, I'm proud of the design in its current state. I think it just needs a little more detail. Also, we got another big bomb to drop on you, players. This is gonna be a roguelike. The only way to get gamers to cream their pants from genre alone. Which means we're not gonna be leveling up in the traditional D&D &D way. Oh, you, uh, you reached level 10 as a fighter? Wow, congratulations, you re get to reroll one saving throw. Crazy. I'll get into the specific details of how I plan to do leveling in another episode. I can press a button, boom. Look at this ability menu. I unlocked an ability. Of course, we're gonna have to plug this into progression mechanics. For now, I just cheat and press buttons to unlock new abilities. I also made two of them functional. Doge can now bark at enemies, which forces them to make a wisdom saving throw. And if they do, they'll get angry and target him. Remember that wasp from earlier? Remember how he how he only targets the squishiest enemy? Not if Doge barks at him. Boom, we have a taunt mechanic. And it only requires me to make two versions of every enemy attacking behavior. Yay! Also, the green stick man. He, he's gonna be Trollface and he's gonna be a rogue, so I gave him a nice little teleport behind you ability. It's just, it's just kind of a basic slash dash, but I really like how it turned out. Whoa, hey there. You made it to the end of the video. Hey, thanks for watching, pal. By the way, while you're here, you should check out Coffee Dates on Steam. It costs 99 cents, and that's less than the stickers that I also sell. Anyways, thanks for watching and checking out Coffee Days on Steam.